Hey there, peace folks and dudes. Welcome back to the Kyle Do Things. Hope you're having an awesome day. This is going to be a quick video, quicker than most that I do, just about all the updates that came in yesterday. I'm sorry I did not get to record yesterday. That happens. But as you can see, they've gotten rid of even the pedestal that the Infinity Blade was sitting on. And they've added a lot more castle. I think they've added a lot more atmosphere in here too. I Maybe it's because other people have dropped in prior to me. But there's like almost no one dropping Polar Peak anymore. I don't I don't know if that's because it's just not interesting because the sword's not here. But see, these trunks are new to me. I don't remember those. I mean, I know they're just a small little piece of, you know, everything here in Polar Peak. But I, I, I don't know. I could be wrong. Maybe they were already there. And by the time I, you know, found these rooms when it was hectic and the, you know, Infinity Blade was a thing. And they have also changed the the circle uh, outline as well. Like, it's really, really defined. Same thing with all the names of the places. They really, like, put some extra little pep to those. And again, everything just seems to run that little bit smoother. And, I mean, smoother. As smooth as I can make it without running into walls like I always do, I suppose. But this is... I, I would think I was in close encounters on this that's why I only have shotguns I, and I just assumed that person was like go ahead and <laughs> take me get me out of here <laughs> send me to my next match but yeah like I know they added this place because of the infinity blade and all that but it just seems like there's a little bit more each time which I don't know there's probably somebody out there who has taken pictures you know, of all the progress of Polar, you know, from every angle, I'm sure, or video, I'm sure, that has dropped there probably every game imaginable. It also seems like there's more chest spawn showing up. But yeah, this is going to cover, you know, what the airplanes look like, if you guys haven't seen that already, which I'm sure you have, but just in case for those of you who haven't, uh, you know talking about some of the new stuff that they've done you know we've got a bunch we've got a bunch of more experience to get to get our skins and get them all tiered up where we want them to be but I just thought I would leave some of this in here because there, there's a couple of funny and interesting either eliminations or deaths but I mean they added a lot again it just it seems to me that it, it just every time they do an update it looks a little more defined. It looks just a little more sleeker, I guess, is the word I'm trying to think of. I'm not really sure. I just, I feel like it just runs better every single time. Only thing I've had a problem with today is trying to, they, they've had the problem with jumping into servers and waiting for a long time. And all day yesterday, you know, off and on when I played, I didn't have that problem. I, and I saw the little you know, note that said, hey, by the way, you might experience this, but today, today, first thing, trying to jump in, I was trying to jump into my creative server, because I, I have something real special for you guys there, so for those of you that watch this video, go get ready to go check those out, because I'm finally making videos on what I've made in creative mode, that I've kind of showed you guys here and there, and updated with, I've come up with names finally for them. They're going to be real quick video videos. I can't speech anymore. They're maybe two to three minutes long, max. Like, they're they're not... That, that's, that's not much. That's not much. Go view those quick vids. That's why I make quick vids sometimes, because you guys are so used to, like, an hour, hour and a half. What? Don't sit there through an hour, hour and a half. It's probably just me failing or attempting challenges most of the time. I'm going to... That's why I said I, I want to try and do some more of these kind of videos... To where they're not as long. Yes, this one's like 15 minutes and something long. But yeah, definitely check those out. Because I would love to have one of my creations put on the block. There's one I really like in particular. But I'm not going to get into that this this video much more. We're going to talk about all these updates and new things. But they've put out all these tables of silver. They've put all these uh, like torches of fire. And I kind of exploded it and got rid of most of the stairs there, but I thought it was interesting to see these two gigantic ice blocks in the bottom, which I didn't even know were there until I blew it all up. And I blew up, like, all the castle. Oops. Ipsa-doodles. 
I mean, there's there's blue fire in the fireplace. Like, how cool is that? I mean, it's it's like it's like they had Ragnarok completely decorate the place with the permafrost pickaxe and just you know, Ice King said, "Hey, Ragnarok, hook me up, hook me up, man. You you got to totally do me a solid. Try and decorate this place with that same blue flame. Loving it. Can you recreate that for me?" <laughs> And this throne room. Look at this throne room. Like amazing addition to this castle right now. That that I, I love it. I love every bit of it. I do. I do. And I I can't wait to get Ice King. I, I honestly can't. I am trying to not spend too much time in creative if I can help it. It's tempting, trust me. I don't know who does play does anybody do playground any, anymore? Anybody do playground mode? If you're watching this, and you you do you actually do go into playground mode, let me know because I don't even know what's changed in that. There could be a dozen things changed in playground mode alone, and I, I don't even know it because I decided to go in game or creative instead because I like to make my own places, which is neat. A lot of the prefabs too, because they've I I don't think I have it in this video and that I remember of but a lot of the prefabs now which they added a lot of like the winter wonderland kind of stuff like you'll see from happy hamlet uh all those buildings and stuff this this was just said that this this just, I, no, we're not gonna talk about that you saw that but we're not gonna talk about it but they've added different things where there's ammo boxes and treasure chests there is a bunch of trees in every single named location I believe it is with ammo weapons shield pots I think it's just kind of randomized uh, there's a lot more of the wooden decorated llamas there's a lot more Christmas lights hung up everywhere I mean it's just you can definitely tell it's it's the holidays <laughs> it be the season but Again, I, I think I accidentally said chest a moment ago. It, it's they've implemented ammo boxes and they've implemented ground loot into some of the prefabs in creative, which I think is fascinating. That's I think that would be a real easy thing to throw down a couple of prefabs and then just go ahead and you know have a ball. It wouldn't take as long. You wouldn't have to worry about giving people commissions at that point, which I think they recognized. I think that was a problem. And look at the airplanes. Like, even the airplanes, they've got... <laughs> they've got antler, reindeer antlers on them and Christmas lights. They changed the bobblehead to, like, a little elf, and the picture is now the gingerbread skin, which I... Or gingy. I, I'm not I'm not 100% sure what it was technically called. I don't think anyone calls that skin by its real name, to be honest. Also, this little thing over here on the milk carton, does anybody know... See, I, I looked, saw it there for a half second. Does anybody know... I feel like that's like a blurred image of Donald Mustard, but maybe it's just another Fortnite creator or a Fort, you know, maybe it was the person that made made the little uh, airstrips, and it's like, hey, we, I had this idea for a milk carton. Now this scared me. I didn't realize that that was my airplane. That's the sad part. It took me a half second to figure out that was my airplane, and it's it's just it's doing its own thing. I don't know what it's doing. It's glitching out and everything else. And it just it gave up at that point. It was like, I, I'm tired. Leave me alone. I'm going to lie on my back. Just leave me be. But some, some of these games, and I'm not going to lie. I'm not going to lie. If I see somebody and I'm in an airplane, I'm like everybody else. I'm going to try and jump in and go after you. Not going to lie. But you can see they've got candy canes at some of the mountain areas that in the snowed areas now. There is also, as you can see, the health bar there just above your personal health bar for your airplane or your vehicle, which I like that because, you know, the only way I knew of you can do it is if either you had somebody with you to look at the plane, see how much the health was, or B, you switch seats to where the airplane can just keep going and you jump on the wing and you look at it yourself 
That's the only ways I, I could figure out how to do it. And this, this death was sad. I knew somebody was over there in Shifty, as you guys saw, right? So I'm like, I'm loading up. I'm trying to get what I can. I hear planes coming in. I know that guy was over there in Shifty. I'm like, all right, I'll break out a wall and I'll snipe him, right? No. No. I was not prepared. Boom! I'm gone. <laughs> I was not prepared there. <laughs> it was sad. Just blatantly sad. Now, there was a glitch that I saw in person where if you dropped out of the battle bus and you ended up landing on a zip line and then dropped immediately, it would not kill you. But you know what? I'm here to tell you, I'm here to prove it to you that what it actually does now, thanks to the update, is it does not do that anymore. So no no hacks for you guys, because as you'll see, it does kill me. No hacks for you guys. <laughs> now, again, I think we've discussed planes are a bit OP. Except when you don't ram into things. You actually... I, I forgot to mention this the first time when I jumped into an airplane. You actually take... 50 damage, personally. I don't know why I didn't shoot him there. I'm not gonna lie. If I can, if I can get a guy in an airplane, I'll get him. Why? Why would they implement it? There's gonna be people to figure out how to use the new item and also be able to fight against the new item. This was sad. I thought I had enough room to get up on the mountain there, <laughs> and I just fell to my death instead. That's called karma. <laughs> Speaking of karma, this was me again. Look at that guy right there. I don't even know how I eliminated him. I'm, I'm just glad I was recording at the time. One of the fluke chances I was. But I, I kind of used this round once I had a plane to just try and experiment with it. To try and dive in, see how much it can withstand. Because it, it, doesn't, it doesn't withstand as much as it used to. As you can see, that health bar is just going. But this was a fun little battle right here with me trying to ram into the dire. But then there was also, I think it was a Rust Lord right here. We kind of did a uh, airplane ballet, we'll say. I was just trying to ruin their day. I was just trying to get one of them. Which I have in, uh, it happens in squads a lot, you'll dive in with an airplane and you'll be able to hit somebody with a propeller, j propeller, cannot speech, just correctly and you'll just bing, fling him into the sun off the, <laughs> off the freaking mountain. See, I'm playing, I'm playing a ballet with this rust sword right now, <laughs> playing hopscotch with the wings here. See, look at that, it's like he knows, he knew what I was going to do, like he's got this timing down perfectly but still still I tried I still tried I was trying to tap him with my wing anything I could do but again this was just an experiment I don't do this all the time but why not use it see what I mean just I still haven't found the ice sculptures unless that was just a farce there's supposedly some ice sculptures of different uh different skins which was a big hint that there's going to be a winter version of red knight a winter version of all the others and that guy was just sitting there and he jumped into the plane and i killed him i didn't even see him at first because he was in the white power ranger skin as i call it but man that that freaked me out now here this is going to be the same match when this when this transitions over this is the same exact match and i feel like this was karma for all the people I got with an airplane right here because I was trying to go get a new one this airplane was about done and about dead and I'm like okay looks like this hasn't been looted out I'll run in here and I'll get more loot nope why didn't I look up I even squatted I even squatted there's also new modes coming out every single day guys but peace folks and dudes I hope you've enjoyed have a good one make sure to like share subscribe and I'll see you in the next one Bye-bye.